Hi, welcome back to another Speedy 3D, and in today's video, I'll be printing this QR code. So, let's get to the video. I had this idea to promote my channel, and I was actually going to print off a bunch of QR codes on paper, but I thought, what better way to share the channel than to show them a product you've made on a 3D printer, and they can scan it and get a link to your YouTube channel. So, that's what I did, and I'm going to show you guys how you can do it, too. So, to get this QR code... First, you go to the page you want to. I'm going to use the YouTube channel, and you're going to right-click anywhere, and you'll see an option for create QR code in some form for any kind of computer. Click on that, and then hit download. And you're going to want to save that to one of your files where you can easily find it, whether in downloads or desktop. And then you're going to put it into another program. So you can see it opens up here in the photo app. And then we're actually going to look up a website called PIC SVG, PIC SVG. It should look something like this. And what you're going to do is hit upload picture on there. Go to where you have that, that QR code stored. You're going to select that. It will take it into the program and put it into an SVG file form. There's a thing that says filters, and it says edge one or internal two. Select which one looks best. You want a crisp one for a nice effect when you try to scan the QR code. Then you're going to go to the bottom of that page there, and you're going to hit download SVG. Now once it's in your downloads folder, you're going to go to Tinkercad or wherever, and any CAD program should take these SVG files, go to import button, drag that file in, import art, and then you're going to wait for it to load. Then when it appears, you got to size it up. Now you're going to have to adjust the thickness as well, but we get it on the center build plate, and then we're going to size it down to about two millimeters. Now, later on you'll see, but we have to change the color of this, but before we do that, give it a background because we can't print a bunch of floating dots and expect it to stay together to take around and show other people. So we got to make a base for the back. Take just any old square. You can round it if you want to. And then we're going to put it um, under that QR code. And then we want it to be black and white, which is a classic QR code uh, color. And we just change it to match those colors. And that's how you make a QR code in CAD. Now when making this, your normal colors for a QR code are black and white. So I decided on the bottom I was going to do a layer of black. So you can see here with the glass bed it gets really shiny. And that's the back so I printed it about halfway. And then the top which is the actual QR code I stopped the print, changed out filaments, turned it to white and then finished the rest of the print. And you can see it got a good finish on camera but if you look up close there's a lot of stringing that you got to clear out of those little QR code areas and the little grooves in it can also get a lot of dirt in it. So you gotta make sure you clean those out, but also be careful, let this sit on the bed since it's a thinner print, and make sure it cools before messing around with it or else you could get it warped like I did in my first one. Now real quick, let me show you me printing the QR code. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys do decide to make a QR code for your channel, share that down below. I would love to hear some stories because mine certainly didn't turn out the right way the first time. So, anyway, make sure you guys subscribe. That's all for this week's Speedy 3D video. Anyway, bye.